guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I know that was super cheesy what I just did, I know. So I bought this foundation a little bit ago, so I know that I'm a little bit late to the game, and I'm gonna say that with everything that I purchase because I can't really keep up to date with what's going on, products that are releasing, and my schedule just doesn't allow me to constantly post whenever there's a new product hitting the market. So I just wanted to come on here and just show you guys my thoughts and let you guys see how the foundation looks on my face. If you guys would like to see this foundation on my face, what it looks like and how I feel about it, then go ahead and keep on watching. If you guys would like to see how this looks on my face and know my thoughts about it, if you guys would like to know my thoughts about this foundation and what it looks like on me, then please go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just jump into it. And I say this every time because I don't wanna make the video super long. I've already did my eyebrows just to get that out of the way. Now we're gonna put this to the test. I know it's been a long time since this has come out. So this is my first time trying it. I wanted to try it on camera and see how it looks like. I really hope the shade is right, so we shall see. To prime my skin today, I'm gonna use the No Pore Blim Primer from Touch and Soul. And I believe I purchased this in Sephora. And I actually haven't used this primer in such a long time, so I'm just gonna try it out, see how it works. I'm gonna pin my hair back just a little bit. It's getting in my face and in my way. All right, you guys know the drill. We are going to apply the foundation on this side of my face with a sponge and on this side of my face with the a, a cosmetics brush and see the difference between the two. The foundation does come with a pump, which is great. It's got like a thick texture. It looks like it might be my shade, I hope. I'm gonna do a pump and a half. See how much that takes us. I'm bringing you guys in just a little bit closer so you can see. It does give good coverage, I think. It looks like it dries to like a powder finish like instantly. And I'm noticing in this region, it looks a little bit dry because I have textures, textured, textured skin right here. I don't know if you can see it, but I feel like I can see some sort of a clinging going on. Like the foundation's clinging to that portion of my face. But it's definitely a difference as opposed to this side. It's a pretty good color match for me. I'm a little bit lighter in the neck. I tend to be a little bit more yellow toned, so I like that. That's a pretty good match for me. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face with the brush. Okay, so that is it with just one layer on the rest of my face with the brush, and I do not like it with the brush. I don't know if it was the primer or if it's the foundation, but it just seems to sit on top of my skin. It's not really blending well with the brush. I think I prefer the sponge side for this foundation because it's a little bit more matte. So I just feel like the sponge gives you that hydration that you need to let the foundation blend better and just sit better on the skin. So I'm just gonna go in with the rest of my face just to touch up in some areas. You can see that there's still some of my discoloration peeking through. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit more but with the sponge in the areas that I need covering like the chin. Okay, so I finished applying I want to say about maybe two pumps total to my face because I like it to be a little bit more full coverage because I have a little bit more to cover. I'm not liking it so far. I'm just going to go ahead and be honest with you guys. I, I'm not really liking it. It just sits on the skin and I don't know. I think it's because it's really matte that it's very drying on my skin and I tend to have oily skin so it's supposed to be good for me because I have oily skin. But I think with the weather changing that's going on right now, like, like today is like the first coldest day in Florida, I don't think this would be good if you were to use a mattifying primer also with the colder months. I think this is more for the summer months. I just decided to buy this because I wanted to try it on camera. I think it's better more for the summer months so far, but I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face. Yeah, let me finish the rest of my face. Okay, this is just not my day. I, I've tried to apply concealer and it just, it's not working. It's not working. I think the foundation, I feel like the foundation's oxidizing. It's, it's getting darker. I used the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Light. It looks like a pale ghost is coming out from underneath this foundation. That's how crazy it looks. 
I'm gonna see what I can do, try to fix this, maybe lighten it up a little bit, but every time, I'm gonna bring you guys just a little bit closer, right here and right here. Whenever you try to apply a concealer on top of this foundation, the foundation itself separates off of my nose and off of my forehead. That is not good. I have to try to fix that. It's looking crazy right now. Yeah. That's a no-go for me. Okay, so that was a fail. That was a complete fail. I just had to take it off. I was not liking how it looked on my skin, so we're gonna start over. I'm gonna try a different primer. Primer. Look at me. I'm gonna use a different primer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just use a hydrating one since this foundation wants to be so matte. So, with that being said, I'm just gonna go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's a primer and a moisturizer in one. It's so good. This is what I'm gonna use because the foundation has such a matte finish and I think that's, maybe I'm hoping that with a hydrating primer, it's gonna work. So let's just try this out. Because I'm afraid the foundation is going to be the way it is, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothing Primer Moisturizer. I love this stuff. I'm just gonna take a little bit just to blend it in with my other primer. So good, it smells so good. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna take the foundation and just apply it all over my face with a Real Technique sponge. Since I do want full coverage, I'm gonna take about three pumps, see how much I want. The color is fine when you first apply it. Okay, definitely better with a sponge all over the face and with a hydrating primer. My skin actually doesn't look so dry, like the moisture has been sucked out of it. So far, it looks good. Now we're gonna go ahead and just apply concealer. I'm just gonna go in with my Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Nude. All right, so here's a close-up of the finished face. Not completely finished, but I just applied concealer under the eyes and on the bridge of my nose, and I can tell that if you're not quick enough, the foundation tends to dry super fast, so whatever you put on top of it tends to separate the foundation underneath, which is not good. I used three pumps for my whole face, and I still don't feel like it was full, full coverage, because you can still see some discoloration under my face, under my face, under my foundation. You can still see discoloration from my acne marks and stuff. You can see the discoloration from my acne marks and all that stuff, so. I did apply some, uh, when I applied the concealer, it blended nicely into the foundation until it gets to a point where it's too dry, so it starts to separate. So you have to be really quick with this foundation if you wanna put concealer with it. Just be quick to blend it because it just dries so fast on you. I'm gonna finish, finish, wow, wow. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I will be right back.
All right, full face is done, and I'm just going to apply some MAC Fix Plus just to make all this a little more dewy looking and a little more dewy feeling. Just a little bit more hydrating because I am feeling quite dry, probably with all the powders on top of a matte finish foundation. All right, the face is done, and I feel like after you apply your powders and the concealers and everything starts to blend in together, the color starts to balance it out a little bit more. So I feel like it looks a little bit better than what it looked like when I initially applied it. I actually really like the way it looks right now. I did not like it when we first started, so I'm glad I gave it another shot. I'm glad that I started over with a hydrating primer because I feel like the hydrating primer will definitely give you all the moisture that you need when you want to wear a matte, matte foundation. And I don't know why I didn't start with that in the beginning, but yeah, this is the finished face. And I'm just gonna finish up my eyes and I will be right back to do a check-in with you guys. Hey guys, so this is the completed look. This was the completed look and of course, I didn't check in with you as soon as I finished my makeup because my mom got home and she got me some burgers and we ate and uh, yeah, <laughs> my lip color went away a little bit. But everything else seems to be intact. I mean, I just, I finished this makeup around, I wanna say I finished it around to the face the face I finished around two o'clock and it's almost five and so far so good I mean it doesn't really look oily I kind of like it I think like I said you have to work with it using a hydrating primer because it's a very matte foundation and I feel like when you wear a matte foundation it has to be a hydrating primer underneath otherwise you're just gonna get really really dry crepey skin especially with this foundation I felt like you can see like my wrinkles, <laughs> you can see my dry patches, it was clinging to anything that was dry on my face and it just felt like the moisture was just sucked out of my skin. So definitely I suggest going in with a hydrating primer underneath. I did create another video on this look and that will be coming up next after this video goes up. So the foundation is affordable. You can buy it at Ulta and I'm pretty sure you can buy it at drugstores too. It's a pretty affordable foundation, especially if you get a coupon, you buy one get one half off. Ulta has those sales all the time. I will leave all the information on this foundation where you can purchase it and the price of it down in the down in the description box below. Don't mind my dogs. Someone's home. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this little mini review. If I have another check-in, I will be inserting it into the video. If not, I hope you guys have an awesome day or had an awesome day. I mean, I'm feeling, I'm filming this close to nighttime and it gets pretty dark out here. So I just, I hope you guys have an awesome week. I hope you had an awesome Thanksgiving. I know I did, I ate a lot of food. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Are you interested in the foundation? Did you buy it already? Do you like it? Let me know in the comment section below. I love talking to you guys and I reply to every single one of your comments as they come through. Like I said, details on this makeup look will be coming up in the next video that you guys will be seeing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.